Today I just thought I'd uh, show some of the tomatoes that are sitting on the top of the cage or above. And this is our black cherry. Um, I'll give you a quick weather update. Uh, I know everybody probably gets tired of hearing me whine about the weather, but it was 105 yesterday and 104 the day before. But we are going to cool down into the 90s uh, for the next week, so I'm really looking forward to that. But this thing is really producing lots of tomatoes and has plenty hanging out over the top of the cage. And then I got over here on this side. It's only a foot from reaching the ground and it's a five foot cage. So we're talking about a nine foot plant already. And it has some setting on almost to the end. And this is the Japanese black trifel, and we're up to the top of the cage here. It's growing out of the top, but it has a few in the top six inches, so it's going to provide us with some late tomatoes, I think. I haven't done a taste test on this one. This is the Omar's Lebanese, and it actually has a few up the top here, just above the top of the cage. And it's got a lot of growth. It's probably about uh, seven feet tall, I imagine. This is a hillbilly. I uh, haven't done a taste test on it either. Uh, it's got some droppings over there. It looks like blister beetles been working the plant. The blister beetles really eat off of our tomato plants and our egg plants. But this thing's got some tomatoes at the top of the cage so that's a good sign I'm kind of on the fence about keeping this one or not here's one up here probably about a six foot point of the plant but it is setting a few in the heat so that's a good this is our 1884 it's got some some that have set on above the top of the cage and it's going up into the sunflowers it's probably about seven foot and tall here's the sweet seedless i have it staked it's uh, not all that tall it's about probably four feet tall but it's still sitting on and it's done very well for us the box car willy is it got off to kind of a slow start it's still got tomatoes on it uh, they're going to be later than most but it does have some up in the upper third of the cage and it's really green and lush looking up at the top even though it doesn't have any tomatoes up there yet. This is the garden peach. It's out of the top of the cage. It's about a little over six feet tall and still setting on. Looking good. And the pink ox heart has one up here in the upper third and one just out of the top of the cage and it's probably about six and a half feet tall or so. And I stuck a couple of suckers in the ground uh, a while back, and I'm hoping to get some to late tomatoes on them. There's yeah, one of them. Actually. I just put the cage there so I wouldn't accidentally break it off. I stepped on one the other day, so I learned my lesson there. 